nothing I will ever do in life I don't think will ever be as difficult um, as the pressure I felt, probably self-inflicted, that I put on myself to win gold medals for Canada. Every time you play hockey in the women's hockey team in this country and you go into an international competition, we have a kind of a slogan or a joke that uh, Hockey Canada has and it's, we're with you, win or tie. <laughs> so don't come home without a gold medal. And uh, that's what my life was like uh, for 23 years that I played on the national team. So going into med school, it's a lot of volume, it's a lot of hard work, but it's nowhere near the pressures I felt being an athlete so far. Um, but there were two moments where I needed that experience. We had a call come in that it was a 19-year-old who had overdosed on fentanyl on the sea train in Calgary, and fire had found him down. They weren't sure how long he was down for, maybe about 30 minutes, they thought, um, and they were bringing him in. And my first day in medical school, my friend turned to me and she said, Haley, gown, gloves, and masks, you're doing CPR, and he'll be here in five minutes. And my heart, <laughs> You get trained how to do CPR in these simulations, and you guys all know this, but when it's the real deal, my heart literally jumped into my throat, and I had about a million thoughts in 10 seconds go through my head, and many of those thoughts were things like, I don't know what I'm doing, what if I hurt him? You know, I, I'm not qualified to do this, like what am I even doing here, this is not, not for me. All the things that, to be honest, when you go into an Olympic gold medal final, and you're playing for your country, you have those same thoughts, like, why did I, I don't, I don't really want to be here, why did I train this many years? What if we let down the whole country? And there's all these types of things that go through your head. But ultimately what I learned through competing in hockey was, I actually said to myself, for God's sakes, get a hold of yourself, this isn't, you know, the gold medal final in the Olympics, and you're a small piece in this puzzle, you've got 20 other people in this room that know far more than you, you're not going to do anything wrong. So we proceeded to do CPR on him, and, Prior to doing that, she turned to me and she said, I just want you to know that he's probably not going to survive, but we're going to try everything that we can. So here I was doing CPR at this young boy, 19-year-old boy, who could have been my 19-year-old son, my first day in medical school. And all I could think about when I was working on him was, who's your mother, why are you here, and why is this happening? And when she pronounced him, it was 1057, I'll never forget the time. And I just remember two things. I remember how quickly they move on, because I guess you have to, you have to cope. But secondly, I remember standing there, and I remember just grabbing his hand, and I had to say my piece with it. And all I could think about was your poor mother. But in that moment, I realized that the training that I actually had in my other life, which was hockey, which was dealing with pressure and high stakes, helped me to get my act together to focus on my job and to realize that I was just one piece of a puzzle, which is the same thing as what you are in a hockey team if you're trying to win a gold medal. Just do your job, do your role. It's one thing to be the best in the world, and I was a part of that for a long time in sport. It's completely another thing to be the best for the world. And when I look out at all of you, that's what I see. You're people that are in this business because you care about people, you want to help people, and you're gonna make a difference, and you are making a difference. And that is a complete shift from the life and the mindset that I had. In sport, it's all about people, but the same thing happens in medicine. And if we don't take care of our people, at the end of the day, we don't have anything, regardless of what gold medals we have in our little bag that we drag around.